This article relates to European tram engines. For US tram engines see steam dummy. A tram engine is a steam locomotive specially built, or modified, to work on a street, or roadside, tramway. Topic. Steam tram engines In the steam locomotive era, tram engines had to comply with certain legal requirements, although these varied from country to country. The engine must be governed to a maximum speed of 16 km per hour 9.9 miles per hour 12 km per hour or 7.5 miles per hour in the UK. No steam or smoke may be emitted. It must be free from noise produced by blast or clatter. The machinery must be concealed from view at all points above 10 cm from rail level. Most of the locomotives must have a cab at each end to avoid smoke. The fuel used was coke, rather than coal. To prevent visible emission of steam, two opposite systems were used. Condensing the exhaust steam and returning the condensate to the water tank. Reheating the exhaust steam to make it invisible. Builders United Kingdom Bayer, Peacock Bayer, Peacock and Company built some steam tram engines, including three for the Glyn Valley Tramway in Wales. Henry Hughes Hughes's locomotive and tramway engine works, Loughborough started building tram engines in 1876. His engines were of the saddle tank type and exhaust steam was condensed in a tank under the footplate by jets of cold water from the saddle tank. Kitson & Co. Kitson & Co. started to build tram engines in 1878. They used a roof-mounted, air-cooled, condenser of thin copper tubes in which the exhaust steam was condensed. This is rather like the radiator on a modern road vehicle. The air-cooled system eventually became standard for steam tram engines. William Wilkinson William Wilkinson of Wigan patented the exhaust steam reheating system about 1881. It now seems bizarre to reheat steam after, rather than before, use because it would involve waste of fuel. Despite this, the Wilkinson system was popular for a time and engines of the Wilkinson type continued to be built up to about 1886. Similar reheaters were also used for road steam wagons, such as the Sentinel. Other Southern British builders of steam tram engines included, Aveling and Porter Charles Burrell and Sons Dick, Kerr & Co., Thomas Green & Son Manlove, Alliot & Co., Ltd. Manning Wardle Merriweather and Sons Hawthorne, Leslie and Co. built steam tram locomotives for the Railway Operating Division in 1915. They were copies on SNCV Type 18. <laughs> <laughs> Germany Krauss German firm Krauss built steam tram engines, including one for the Wolverton and Stony Stratford Tramway in England. Belgium Starting from the 1880s every steam locomotive builder in Belgium supplied the SNCV with tram engines nearly 1,000 of them were built. Ateliers de Tubais, FUFN Saint-Pierre and Société de Saint-Léonard also supplied several tram engines to foreign companies such as Spain, the Netherlands, France or Italy. The last steam engines were delivered in the early 1920s. France Corpette Louvet, de Coville, Pingli and blanc Misserin built engines for French and foreign tramways, the latter was created by Ateliers de Tubais in order to avoid taxation of imported locomotives. These companies also built industrial engines and some shunters, large steam locomotives were mostly built by other companies. United States of America Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Baldwin The Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA, built steam tram engines including most of those used in New South Wales, Australia. A small number of steam tram engines were manufactured in Australia to Baldwin designs by Henry Vale, T. Wern and the Randwick Tramway Workshops. Decline 
In cities, steam tram engines faded out around 1900, being replaced by electric trams or buses. Rural steam trams held longer until replaced by electric, diesel trams units or buses. In France and Belgium, the last steam-powered tram lines closed in the 1960s. Topic preservation Kits an 0 steam tram engine Port Stewart Tramway No. 1 at Street Life Museum of Transport, Kingston upon Hull Kits an 0 steam tram engine Port Stewart Tramway No. 2 at the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum, Cultural, County Down. Kits an 0 steam tram engine Christchurch Tramways No. 7 at the Tramway Historical Society of New Zealand, Ferrymead, Christchurch, New Zealand. Bayer Peacock O 0 steam tram engine at National Tramway Museum, Critch, Derbyshire Kraus O 0 Gamba de Legn tram engine at the Leonardo da Vinci National Museum for Science and Technology in Milan, Italy. O 0 Ateliers de Tubais 1912 steam tram engine in Settimo Milanese, Milan, Italy. Henschel and Sono 0 steam tram engine Darmstadt Tramway No. 7, Führiger Elias at Darmstadt Kranichstein Railway Museum, Germany. Three Sydney steam tram motors survive in museums. SNCV Type 7 0 6 0 Ateliers de Tubais, 1888, at the ASVI Museum, Belgium. This engine, kept in working order, is the eldest preserved SNCV engine. SNCV Type 7 Société Franco-Belge, 1912, at Blegny Mine. SNCV Type 19060 Hawthorne, Leslie & Co., 1915, X Railway Operating Division at the Shepdal Museum. SNCV Type 18060 N Saint Pierre, 1920 at the Shepdal Museum. Working three SNCV Type 18, one built by J. J. Gillen in 1915, and two by Grand Hornu in 1920 at the Tramway Touristique de Laine, France. Topic in popular culture The character Toby the Tram Engine, from the railway series Children's Books by the Rev. W. Audrey, and the spin-off TV series Thomas and Friends, was based on the LNER Class J70 tram engines that were to be found on the Wisbeach and Upwell Tramway. Topic Other types of propulsion Topic: Diesel tram engines. Four of the British Rail Class 04 diesel locomotives were fitted with side plates and cowcatchers for working on the Wisbeach and Upwell Tramway. Topic: Electric tram engines. There are a few examples of electric tram locomotives designed to pull traditional railway carriages through streets. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Stored energy types. Tram engines have been built to run on stored energy in various forms including fireless steam, compressed air, see also McCaskey system. Electric storage batteries these engines have not met with great success because of their limited range. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Further reading. History of the steam tram by H. A. Whitcomb, published by the Oakwood Press in 1961. The British steam tram by J. S. Webb, Tramway and Light Railway Society. A History of the British Steam Tram, Volume 1, by David Gladwin, 2004.